Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one here, which is a version of this one here that I made last year. Um, for those of you who were with me in February last year, this was the box I made. Probably not the best way to see it on my tablet, but it was cute and it was lovely and very, very popular. And I made it using Spotty DSP and then the bags, which you I don't know if you can see them very well, they're showing up. They were celebration bags, which we had at the time. But this year I'm making a different version. So I'm just going to put that to one side. It's probably going to bing or beep at me. So it's this one here. So it's got the same windows. It's slightly different measurements, I think, in height. Can't remember. Um, and then the bag that I put my mini eggs, Cadbury's mini eggs in, is actually one of our cellophane bags that you would put cards in. So four by six inch um, bags. And you get a packet of 50 of these. So you could put your cards in it. Or you could put your mini eggs in, which is what I've done. Put a bundle of mini eggs and I've just tied it with some very vanilla seam binding ribbon. And the box itself, I've left the decoration off the box this year. I did put all the spotty paper on. Um, but I just wanted it to be the beautiful subtles colours. Um, and that's kind of what it was about. So the measurements of this, okay, this way is five and a half inches, which is 14 centimetres. This way... I have made mine eight and a quarter because that is the widest of um, our cardstocks in order to be able to get two out of a sheet of cards, A4 cardstock. However, if you work with eight and a half by 11 paper, leave it at eight and a half inches. So basically you're just chopping off the length. Let me just grab a sheet of card. So eight and a half by 11 means you can get exactly two out of a sheet. Eight and a quarter by five and a half you need to whip off a little bit there but you can still get two out of a sheet so eight and a quarter eight and a half it doesn't matter it just means you've got a slightly smaller piece of adhesive or section to put your adhesive in um so 21 centimeters for us a4 people okay so with the long side at the top score it at two four six and eight inches which is 5, 10, 15 and 20 centimetres, hence why you only have a tiny little bit for adhesive. That's OK, we can cope with that. And then turn it around and score it at 2 inches, which is 5 centimetres. Lucky you guys with 8.5 by 11. So fold all your score lines, and then we're going to punch these holes in, which are the windowed holes here, with their pretty little frame. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, what you need is a piece of scrap. This is the one I've got handy. And where's my word? My whoops. This is my large oval punch. So it's not the extra large, this is the large. This is the one that nests with the scallop oval there. So what we're doing is we're punching a template, which is this bit, and you put it, put a little bit of adhesive on the back, and you place it where you would like to cover, where you would like your hole to be. So it could be at the bottom, could be at the top, in the middle. And that's where you, that's what we're going to punch around. But actually, you're going to punch through two pieces of cardstock at the same time. So fold over. What have I done with that punch now? Oh, there. <laughs> go over it, and that's just punched two holes in one go. Don't need the template anymore. You just fold over again, and we're going to punch over this part. That's three punched, and then the fourth is there. Now, if you're working with um, eight and a half inches, you might need to trim through an extra bit here. You will know if you fold over your the bit you're going to stick your adhesive to, if it pokes through, you know you need to punch it. Obviously, in my case, I don't need to. There we go. So that's that part punched. To create the frame, you come in and punch your holes first. I'm going to do one because it will be dreadfully boring to watch me do four. So you punch one with the large oval first. Then you come in with your scallop oval, which is this one, and punch around that. So that's the bit we don't need. Get rid of that. That's the bit we do need. And obviously you repeat it four times, which I think I may have done in my original video. I'm using my two-way glue pen because obviously I can be far more accurate with this than I could be with snail or what are they called? Mini glue dots. Although clearly not accurate because I've just gone across my grid paper. And 
position it over the oval window and again repeat it four times for all four. I'm just doing one and it's very pretty. I will make sure I've done the rest by the time the photos come out because they would look a bit weird, won't they? So trim off this little section here we don't need and you do need to do all of this before you put the box together. Um, on my first one that I made, I did stamp across it, just there. Didn't like it so much when I when I had done it. So I like to show my errors, and so I yeah I didn't like it. It was a, it might have been better if I'd gone with a motif than wording. Um, okay, so us we, who's working with a piece of cardstock that's eight and a quarter, sticky strip will fit pretty much just about exactly. Because sticky strip, I believe, is nine millimeters wide, and our little gap here is ten millimeters. So be fairly accurate. So we need some sticky strip on that one, and then this one, which is going to be the window, the the front of the box, is your is not the square closest to the sticky strip. It's the one next to it. Oops, can't pick it up. And you want to put an adhesive on this part, so not the front, on the back. Random pieces there. Yeah, you could maybe put some eggs or some little chicks along there. That would look cute, wouldn't it? So, okay, so sides in, then the back. This is the one with the adhesive, so that's the front. And that really is your box made. So you pop your little treats inside, they will fit perfectly. And then I'm just going to finish off with a tiny little bit of stamping. I love this stamp set, Hello Life. I just think it's lovely. Do more of what makes you happy. I've got a card with that just all over the card. I don't know if I've shown it already, possibly. I don't know. I work out at different times in my head. A piece of very vanilla cardstock and I've got the Hello Life. Wisteria Wonder ink. And this, the one inch square punch is just a tiny bit too small, so I've taken the postage label punch, which is just perfect for it. Around there. And then I've got the label bracket punch and a piece of Wisteria Wonder. And then I've got my dimensionals. So one on the back of there, into the middle. And then just punch a little hole in. Um, just for some linen thread, which I've got handy somewhere. And then that will tie onto your bag, which obviously I've tied my bag of eggs in advance. It was just ridiculously tempting. Far too tempting to not nibble. So I had to tie the bag because I prep my projects at night time and then I come and film first thing in the morning. As soon as the house is quiet, or, you know, I've got back from doing the school run, I come and start my filming then. So having them, <laughs> having a bag of open chocolates in the evening, not sensible idea. <laughs> so I tied them up. OK, so I'm obviously I'm just going to I did, you know, on this one, you can see I've tied it within that, but I'm just going to hang it over there for now so you can get the idea. And hello life. And obviously because it's Easter, I had to choose life. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. And go back, go back and have a look at my original project. Um, it was fun. It was very pretty with the little spots. But this one's just as pretty too. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.